So mythical Pokemon are a unique part of the Pokemon games. While most of the games center around, you know, like catching regular Pokemon and then like the legendaries being like the primary focus of like the big boss battles, the mythicals are just as important because post games and stuff. So today I'll be sharing my top 5 favorite mythical Pokemon. Let's go! Number 5, Jirachi. I think it goes without saying that Jirachi is one of the cutest exclusive Pokemon in the franchise. Like what Pokemon the movie Jirachi Wishmaker represents, Jirachi can grant wishes, but only every thousand years or so. So you only get seven days to wish for your dream mansion or whatever until Jirachi has to return to its slumber. That's what happened in the aforementioned Pokemon movie, as Jirachi is vulnerable to people who use its wishing power to take over the world. Not much else to say about Jirachi other than I like the Pokemon's concept of being a powerful wishmaker. Number 4, Genesect. The thing that makes Genesect appealing is his, its, is its design and history. Its design is a purple humanoid um, bug and it looks visually appealing. Genesect also has a pretty good backstory for originally being a fossil Pokemon but it was restored by Evil Gain from, by Team Plasma. Genesect looks very nice and its dry forms are all pretty great and unique. Number 3, Dark, Dark Rye. Dark Rye, the Pokemon of Darkness, the Harbinger of Nightmares, the horrifying shadow that lurks in the darkest voids of the Pokemon universe. But Dark Rye isn't all nightmares and dark voids because he's actually a pretty nice guy. While Dark Rye does possess people in their nightmares, he doesn't really do it on purpose. In Pokemon the movie The Rise of Dark Rye, we get to see the true good side of Dark Rye, which can really change your perception on this dark and mysterious Pokemon. Number two, Arceus or Arcus or Arceus, whichever you guys think is correct. I'll just call him Arcus for the video because it's easier. So Arcus is the god of the Pokemon world and was the Pokemon that started it all. Arcus played a very pivotal role in the history of the Pokemon lore, being the creator of Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Azov, Mesper, and Yuxi. Maybe Mew, I don't know. I ain't it. Let me see if that's true. Arcus. Ha also has a unique f effect that can change its typing based on the type of plate that is a that is equipped to him. Until like Sal Salvalli got that ability too, and then it wasn't so special anymore. Other than that, Arcus is a great mythical Pokemon. Number one, Zera Aura. I'm pretty sure everyone likes this amazing mythical Pokemon. It has everything: a great design, a great moveset, a great shiny, and a great showcase in the anime. And in Pokemon the movie, the power of us and episode 100 of Pokemon Sun and Moon. I can't really think of any flaws for Zero Aura other than I think it should have been electric fighting. It's got the fighting style and everything, so probably should be electric fighting, not just pure electric. It's kind of weird for like a mythical Pokemon to me. Other than that, Zero Aura is a, almost a perfect mythical. And those are my top 5 favorite mythical Pokemon. If you liked this video, consider hitting the like button and subscribing as well. Share this video to friends, check out my post on Straw Polo, check out my Twitter, and check out my dividend. All the links are in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.